So, Gaffer, we fought our way to a replay this afternoon. What were your thoughts on the game? It was a blood and thunder cup tie. I think, from our point of view, it was um, the good, the bad and the ugly. And when we were good, we were very good. When we were bad, we were very bad. And the game fluctuated and uh, I think that played into Winchester's hands because they're very good at what, what, what they do. They make the game chaotic, they go front to back quick and they're very game up top. They chase and, and race and, and, you know, sort of embrace that chaos in the game. And we, you know, had moments of good control. And then, unfortunately, we were sort of uh, didn't quite show the quality on the ball that we needed to. Unfortunately, it was, it was huff and puff, um, didn't penetrate enough, wasn't aggressive enough um, in our actions. Um, and then we, we sort of sort of grinded ourselves to a halt, really, after a positive start. You know, we're there oh, so close to getting two shots away and, uh, you know, you and rounding the keeper and hitting the post and then some corners and free kicks. So we started really well. And then, like I said, we grounded ourselves into a halt. We went, went a bit dry, a bit, a bit safe, a bit boring. Um, and then they create the chaos because they go front to back and then it becomes a bit of a basketball and then you lose a bit of control. And then we concede the goal right before half time. And then all of a sudden it's like, you know, we've that starts fully at the back of your mind now and the front of your mind is, is that last sort of 10, 15 minutes of the first half where we were lacklustre and got punished. We then regroup at half time. We try and keep a calm head on it, but also, you know, need to liven up and uh, the second half couldn't have started any worse. I mean, it, it was again, I think we just got caught in their moments. He's a complete mishit shot and we're all standing, appealing for offside. Like it looked offside, but we don't know if it is or not. And it's just, we were again, feet planted, not, not proactive, not ready, not expecting the worst, you know, and uh, you can't come, you can't come here, you can't play in the FA Cup, you can't play against a Winchester team and their first home game of the season in this great facility they've put in, you know, big crowd and and just think we're going to get going. You've got to make it happen. And, and at times we looked like we were going to and then we and then we got, you know, we wrestled ourselves back out of it. So that was really disappointing. And then all of a sudden you find ourselves 2-0 down and it's looking like, you know, a really bad afternoon and uh, credit to the lads. Um, we really rallied at the end and then it was just us non-stop attacking, knocking on the door, you know, their keepers made saves, we've had corners, we've had near misses and we've got two, two goals, you know, so um, again, it just shows you, like, keep the ball, move the ball, attack, have intent, have aggression in every action and then ask a question, cross, shoot, um, you know, too many times this season, we're having large good spells in the game, working really hard and then the final action is one of disappointment and it just kills the momentum, takes the pressure off the other team. I mean, every t every corner they got, they just put it in an area and it it feels pressurised, you know, where we're working and having some good moments of play in between and it ends in frustration. So we've got to, got to make sure our final action is, is, is a lot better. That is for sure. Um, but having said that, the character and resilience the boys have shown again and, you know, I had to question that at half-time and that, that worried me for a moment because I thought this group's made of sterner stuff. And it come back and it showed what it was made of in the end. Despite the highs and lows, then, as you mentioned just then, the lads showed real character to kind of get themselves back into the match. That must have been really pleasing for you to see, following, of course, what you said at half time. Yeah, definitely. And we just, you know, we could have made, gave ourselves too much of a mountain to climb. But um, fortunately, we, we got back in the game. Disappointed not to win it at the end. That would have been a real thrilling end. Um, but we've got to make sure we don't waste this chance now. We've got another go at it and we've got to learn the lessons. Um, and, and ma yeah, make sure that we're, you know, it's a good group of players out there. And sometimes it's just a little bit more awareness, a little bit more intent in what we're doing. And uh, we won't be that far away. But yeah, look, we, we live to fight another day and you can't waste opportunities in football. Ezio Torre grabbed the late equaliser at the end. Uh, to have a player of his calibre kind of coming off the bench and be able to make an impact, does that really speak to the strength of the squad you've managed to put together? Um, yeah, definitely. I think it was, you know, made for Ezio to come on. I think Ewan and Bear, like I said, Bear. Nearly scored two or three times, like last ditch tackles, you know, Ewan's hit the post, like, you know, we could have been two or three nil up. Uh, we weren't. And then, you know, you, you're looking around and you know that, you know, Ezio, he's got moments in him. That is that is for sure. So, uh, you know, delighted that he's got on and got his goal. Delighted Ewan got his goal because I don't think Ewan could have tried any harder for a goal. And I think that was it. He was, he was like I said, probably trying too hard. Uh, but he's got his goal now. You know, Ezio's come on and got his goal and... And we've um, 
we've got to make sure that we um, take that last sort of 20 minutes, 25 minutes into the start next, on, on Tuesday. You touched on it there. Ewan Pollock scored his first goal for the club today. He must be really pleased to get off the mark for the club. Yeah, I think it's nice for strikers just to make sure, you know, they're, they're here to hit the net. We know that Ewan does a hell of a lot more than just hitting the net. He races, he chases, he sets up, he build, you know, we build through him. It's so, you know, and same with Tom Bearwish. And I think, you know, they work so tirelessly hard that sometimes, you know, they've done so much for the team that actually, you know, in the, in the box at some crucial moments, they, you know, they've done a, there's a lot of wear and tear in them legs the time they've got there. So sometimes that, that sometimes isn't, we're not as clean at the, at the end of an attack, but you know we'll, we'll, we'll grow, you know they'll keep getting better. We'll keep getting better, and we'll get more more resilience. We'll get fitter. We'll get sharper. Um, and like I said, we've got another another really tough game Tuesday now. That, like you say, this obviously won't be the last time we face off against Winchester. Mm. What would be the kind of key takeaways you take from this um, to look to get a, a positive result on Tuesday? I think like get hold of the game, know what the game needs and when it needs it dictate the tempo and when we need to attack, attack with more intent, you know, and uh, like I said, I think we just, we started strongly, got some good chances and then we, like I said, we slowed our, our process up and, we, you know, stick to what we do, stick to what we train. I think there's enough evidence behind for the lads and what we're doing when we're on script, we're very good. When we sort of come off script a little bit, we get a little bit scruffy and then we get a little bit stuck. But that said, we'll, we'll learn the lessons from today and take them into Tuesday. Thank you, Gaffer. Thank you.